welcome back to SOS and Stats Time Badass. Alright, I made the Harbor Freight Bug Out Bags Tools video. Had a lot of feedback over 200 messages or so, I think. Even in emails. Just hating on the survival knife. I get it. Look, I thought the same thing when I walked right by it. I was like, that thing can't hold up very good. But I did, out of all the people in the community, I did have a few people with suggestions, ideas, uh, where it had broken on them, and how to upgrade it. So today, I'm doing an upgrade. I've already done the upgrade, but I'm going to show you the video where I show how I'm going to upgrade this. I did a video for Instagram. I'm going to tag that in this, so you'll see this next. And then we're going to talk about the knife. Now, we're going to try and split wood with this thing today. Now, I'm not, I don't know how far I'm going into this, but... Let's try and get this thing a little bit more upgraded because this is going in a stash bag in the middle of nowhere that I probably won't see for a long time. It's in case of emergencies. I'm not building this as a primary. You guys know me better than that. I have better primary equipment. So this is just for a stash bag and for people on a budget. They can't upgrade this thing. So you're looking at eight bucks for a survival knife and by the time you're done with the upgrades you've got like a ten dollar knife instead of an eight dollar knife not a bad deal okay let's get started this is the video that I recorded the other day update on the Harbor Freight survival knife I have removed the blade and I'm going to JB weld inside here but I've already drilled a hole straight through. So now I could add my steel pin all the way through. So it's going to actually go before it only had this little allen key that kind of went there. So we're going to go all the way through and you'll have a steel pin holding the blade in this time. A real solid pin. So there you go. There's your tip for today on this rebuild. Oh yeah, and the fluid does leak out of this thing. So that's gone. Replacement. Better compass. There we go. Alright, soon update. Now I got you back here. Now no joke, the compass it um they say you know it leaks all of its fluid out, but to be honest with you you guys and gals, it didn't have any fluid to begin with. That was a mystery that I figured out. Now all I did, I wanted to get that out of here. I didn't want, I'm going to show you how this thing turned out. And we're going to go cut some wood with it. Don't worry, I won't take that long. Now I'm upgrading everything to this. I'm taking the this uh, string on here, I'm taking it off. And this has got a, a hollowed out section here. This had adhesive on one side, it was like double sided tape. That kind of stuck in there and it fit perfect. Now this one doesn't fit so perfect. As you can see. Oop. It's all right. I filmed my mistakes. See, as you can see, it doesn't fit so well. So what I'm going to do is make a capsule that holds all the gear, all the survival gear. Now you guys remember the chintzy survival gear it comes with. It's not so great. Um, that's about what you get. You got one fishing hook. You got some fishing line. You got uh, six matches and something to strike on. So that's what you get, right? That's what you get. Like I said, we're gonna update we're gonna update the gear that actually goes in this. Now, let's talk about what I've done to it. Now I've I've smoothed off around here a little bit. And the thing that I've done here is I've ran a steel pin. I drilled all the way through, like I said, and there's there's one side of it, and there's the other side. Now I've JB welded uh Actually, the JB Weld actually comes out in the bottom, but you can't really see it. But there's JB Weld all around this. Basically, I put it in here, and I coated it inside the walls. Then I slid the blade in. And then I had to pound it in place because it just wasn't going back in. It just had too much, uh, too much holding it back. So, I got it back in there, and when I did... I rammed a steel pin all the way through. Now this is drill bit, a drill bit piece of steel. 
I just use something like this. This is still you can use a steel rod, sharpen and make a point on one side and drive it through. I, I did that so I could show you what it actually looks like. Uh, but you can use just any type of steel rod it will work just fine. You can, heck, you could use a screw because what actually was fitting was just some type of screw like this. But you're going to want to go with something a little bit smaller than that. But something like this will go all the way through. Take a hacksaw, cut the other side off, and you're done. But but this is prettier. It makes it look a little bit better instead of, you know. But it had this. That little tip. You see that little tip there? That's what holds your blade in. And everybody complains about this thing breaking. Well, that's why. Well, now it has a steel rod all the way through. And it has JB Weld. So it, I've let it dry. So we're going to go test this thing out. And, uh. Let's uh let's go split some wood. Let's see how much damage we can do. Let's see if I can break it. Now the amount of wood you're gonna be splitting is you know and the, the width of it. You know, you might have pieces like this that you find out find out in the woods somewhere, right? I'm just trying to be real, real realistic then you know you're not gonna saw down a tree or anything with this thing. So let's say a piece like this. This would be some something you might find. trying let's try and be fair yeah I think it made short work of that Notice I'm doing different sections of the blade, just to show you. Let's try another piece. Alright, new log. Try and baton. A little bit more here. If I can get this in there. There we go. <laughs> I missed. It's all right. Here we go. My aim's a little off. I can do this. I can do this. For sure. Done. I could keep going. So that one's got the knot in it. There go. All right, let's try to saw. Thank you. 
Oh, if you wanted to saw all the way through, I don't want to waste your time. I figured I'd break it. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, there you have it. There's no nicks. And the handle is still there. I think I could do this all day. I could hit back here too. And as you see, I hit it right back there where most people do it and they break their blade. And it didn't break. All right, now we gotta make a little kit to replace the chintzy one that it had. Just got my tools kinda laid out. Now, I talked about it before, Vaseline and cotton balls makes an awesome fire starter that you can strike, you can use a ferro rod, or you could just use one of these guys here, the flint wheel. Alright? Now, I don't know if I'm going to have room for that. So I kind of wanted to put a little knife. These are one of the folding knives. You can order these online. This is uh, from Dermasafe. But it's just, a, it's just a razor blade. Folds out. I was going to put one of those in there if I have room. Now, I just kind of want to throw some ideas out. Let's get that out of the way. Now, I could put some zip ties and stuff like that in here, but I ain't got no need for it. Now... Electrical tape is one thing that I probably will be putting in this, and I don't know if I'm going to do a small thing of duct tape or not. I'm talking too much. All right. So, one trick that I had thought of is taking a couple of shotgun shells, and you just put those two together. And you could use different sizes. It's like a 20 gauge and 12 gauge, or a... Uh, 16 gauge and 12 gauge, but you could put those two together and make a capsule out of it. That's just sharing ideas with you. I'm not doing that today, but somebody might like that. Strike anywhere matches. That's about what they should look like. They should have a white tip on the end. Now I've got the green ones, so I've got that out of the way. Now, fishing lures, I've already got this covered. I just want to make sure I get this together so I don't lose it. So I've got to wait on this one. I like going ahead and putting some string on it, some fishing line on it, and just get my hooks in there, just like that. Now I've got that guy in there. Now I've got a couple more. Y'all, and y'all. Now i got to fold that up and try and shove it all in here. And these are just little pill bags you can get at Walgreens. You can get them at Walmart too, wherever, but I like these. Now, there's that. I got those in there. Sewing kit with a needle and a button and a safety pin. It's going to work great. That's already in there. Now, my spare fishing line. I don't know if I want to try and shove that in there, but I'm going to do it. Well, why not? I got to make as much room as possible. Now, my compass is just going in here, okay? The compass is just going to go in here. I'm not going to do this little cap removal trick. All this stuff's going to stay in here. It doesn't need to come out. All right. Let's just say that's that. My kids are going crazy. All right. Now, so I need to make as much room in here as possible. Now, I get the cotton balls. There's no spare hook that I don't need. All right. Okay get the cotton balls in here. I've already got these tuned up. They're just cotton balls and Vaseline. That's all it is. Now you can use Neosporin. It still works the same. If you just take these guys here and you get you a straw. Get your straw. Get your, if I can get my string over here. My string. I'm just going to use my string to pull it in there. Yeah. My cotton ball. With my Vaseline on it. without screwing this up. Let's get this. It's going to be a little bit messy. Woo! There we go. Should 
come out the other end. And this should be able to get this pull in there. We'll try. Get it wadded up. It's a job, okay. Now I pull, just like that. See that one? I already got that in there. Now, I got to grab this. There it goes. Now, wipe that off. There we go. Now I've got that in place. So what I do now, I take this guy here, crimp that, just like that. You might be able to see it in there. There's your cotton ball and Vaseline. Take this guy here, snip that off. Hold this real tight with your pliers, okay? Flip this around. Okay, that one should be good. Is that? Now I go to the other side. For those of you that don't have a vacuum sealer, right? You could just vacuum seal this and be done. There you go. A fire tender. Ready to go. I don't need a whole bunch of these. I'm just going to do the one. Just the fire tender. I can break that up in more pieces if, if need be. Alright. Now. So you got your fire tender. I've already got my compass loaded. That's that crappy compass. Get it out of here. Uh, this is ready to go. I can take my matches now just to be on the safe side so I don't mess them up I'm doing waterproof matches you can pick these up at any Wally World like I said before in other videos you wanna you wanna go one side one way and one side the other way to make room like I said I didn't want this video to take too long and then you're gonna do strike anywhere matches and y'all Go back and forth. That way they stack neatly. Boom, boom, just like that. All right. Boom. Now your striker, you want to cover it up with something. So I've got my aluminum foil that you can use to make a life raft out of. I'm just kidding, not a life raft. <laughs> oh, don't get your boxer briefs in a wad. All right, here we go. So now I've got my striker in there with my aluminum foil. You could use the aluminum foil for signaling. You could use it for you can make a makeshift bowl out of it to boil water. People do all kinds of weird stuff with it. Just keep that in mind. Now, band-aids. I don't really need to... That one's ripped. Eh, get that out of here. I don't need it anyway. But to put these in here, I'm not going to be able to do anything fancy with this. I'm just going to be able to put them in there when I put them all, put all this stuff in the bag. Now, fire tender goes in here as well. Put that in there like that. Just like that. Yeah, I got all these together, little kits. Now I see how much room I'm working with to make sure I can fit all this in here. That's that's the first thing. You want to make sure you can be able to fit all that in here. It looks like it fits fine. There you go. So you just got to kind of twist it and roll it, but that'll fit in there fine. Now I could go ahead and put that in there. Let's see if I got room for my band aids. All right. One thing I'm going to do, I think I'm going to move this around. I lied. Compass out. I'm going to make a little bit more room here. Chop. Now. This in here. Just a regular Ziploc. This in here. Let's see how much room that takes up. Bring this down. I know it's time consuming. Flip it like this because I got less room on that side. There we go. Ta da! Now, I should be able to. If not, I don't think I can fit this in here. But 
I'm going to try anyway, just because I'm cool like that. I highly doubt I could fit all this in here, but I'm going to try. If it fits, hooray. Let's just see. Just a sec. Spit up. <laughs> so I got a striker and everything in there, so I don't even need a ferro rod now. Let's just see how this turns out. <laughs> Is it going to fit? Drum roll. I was like, I don't think it's going to fit, dear. I think you lost in the sauce. Ugh. Can you get it in there? Never give up. Alright, I'm going to lose an item. It's alright. It's alright. Stay with me. I was, I was assuming this was going to happen. Let's save some room. There we go. Oh yeah. Now that works. Alright. So I got all that in there. Now I've got a compass here. And I need to make some a roll of tape here. Alright. Let's see. Hang on a sec. Alright, and what you could do, put the use the straw this time and roll up your tape. Alright, and just take your tape, set it in there, give it a little push, we'll take a little compass, give it a little push, and then let's take our cap and put it back on here. Alright. Oh yeah. Alright. Like I said, I was going to replace the line. I, I like this line a little bit better, plus it's camo. It breaks up into a lot finer strands, and if I'm only going to have one piece of string with me, I'd rather be able to make a lot of stuff out of it instead of a piece of paracord that eh, may or may not work out for me, but this has always worked out pretty good. This is just a piece of nylon rope, and it just falls a piece falls to pieces once you untie it, so that works out pretty good. I just got to clean the blade up, but that's the end of that. Well, I hope you learned something today, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you like this, hit like and uh, share it with your buddies. That's it. You're watching SOS. I'm Stats Iron Bias. Have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic Rainbow Unicorn Day, or whatever it is. Take it easy.